What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Y'all know we got that boxing match coming up tonight. No, it's not nobody you know, but it's Muhammad Ali's grandson. So I want y'all to join me on that. You know what I'm saying? But also, this video here, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have a certain take on animals. Even though I've owned them in the past, I stop owning them for a certain reason. Because with age comes wisdom. So, a teen allegedly shoots a man in an accident attempting to get the cat to chase the gun's laser. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But, yo... These are some sickos, B. You got to be a damn sicko. Check this out. A witness said, um, well, the Kenosha News reported Jashanti Pleasant, 19, was charged with injury by negligent use of a weapon for this incident. So, a witness said, Pleasant picked up the handgun and was trying to get a cat to play with the laser sight, which was being projected on the floor. A witness said that the gun went off and a bullet hit twenty hit a, hit the twenty hit a twenty one year old man. After being shot, the man was described as appearing to be shocked momentarily before asking Pleasant if she had shot him. The man reportedly went into another room, went into another apartment where he was found, where he was later found by police who had responded to the 911 call. He had been shot in the thigh. And the Kenosha News, which this is Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha News wrote the bullet went all the way through his thigh and hit the stove. Yo, yo, oh, yo, the pain. Man, the new the um the police officers applied a tourniquet on the wounded man's upper leg to stop the bleeding, and he was transported to a hospital for treatment. I ain't giving all them names or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Pleasantly reportedly told Kenosha police she had believed the gun was not loaded, and that it had fired the bullet by accident. It had fired the bullet by accident. So the gun fired itself, unless that's just another typo. The 21-year-old man who was shot admitted to police he had brought the gun to the apartment but said he thought it was not loaded. He claimed he had removed the magazine from the firearm when he put it on the nightstand. On the nightstand. Thank God there wasn't no kids in there. I just gave y'all news about a four-year-old kid who shot, well, a, a toddler who shot, shot a woman in the head and found out it was his mother. Now, the Kenosha police said when the gun was recovered, there was a round in the chamber and six rounds in the magazine. <laughs> If the magazine had been not had not been inserted into the gun when Miss Pleasant fired the shot, there would have been no round in the chamber later when the gun was found. The Kenosha News reported from the police. Pleasant Pleasant had allegedly been consuming alcohol during the time of the incident, according to the complaint. She was released on a signature bond. The wounded man is also facing charges for violating bond conditions that barred him from having a weapon. He's been on bond since June 2020. What are you doing with a gun, dude? You can't even have an unloaded gun. But anyway, stupid is as stupid does. Why in the hell would you take a... Yo, they sell them on keychains for like 99 cents at whatever store you want to go to. Them little laser lights and you could do it all day. But I bet you you the type that pointed in the cat's eye and ruined their eyes. Because you stupid enough to point a dog or a gun at them with an infrared sight on it. For the cat to chase it. When I was 19, I wouldn't have done like nothing like that. I carry guns, but I wouldn't have been trying to play with no cat with it. I knew how serious the gun was. That's the difference between us and our generation at 19 and yours, at least. P. 
people like myself. Because you had people in my generation who was just playing no nuts. Now, here's my take on animals. You don't have to teach an animal a damn thing. They come out programmed. So in my observation, all animals have a function on this earth. So why would I take them away from their function? And black people, this is the best analogy I can give. By you having pets and animals, you're doing the same thing that basically you're you're doing slavery to the animals. I'm going to tell you why. Now, I know some of y'all may disagree, but let me open up your eyes a little bit here. When you get when you get an animal, these animals were not acclimated to us like that. They were out in the wild and they did interact with us after a while, but we didn't have them in our houses like that. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, we didn't even have homes like these. So when you take that animal, you have to take that animal out of its habitat, out of its natural habitat. Bring it into your way of living. Feed it this food that's hard as hell and that got all this stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, think about it. If you feed your animals hard food, that cat food that's cheaper, that's supposed to be all of this and be all of that, and they supposedly love it. Can you imagine you being, eat, can you imagine you eating potato chips for your whole entire life? just different flavors that's what you're doing for your cats and your dogs you know what i'm saying so you have to capture that animal you have to acclimate them to your way you don't want them digging in your garbage you don't you don't want them eating your food so you give them a food to eat they look out the window at all that wild and wish they was out there but you got them trapped in the home you didn't change their way of living to your way of living now they think that they're you. Most of the animals think that they're you when they get in here because you've programmed them into being something that they're not. Don't that sound familiar, black people? Sounds like you. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, that is you. Because they say chattel slavery. I say cattle slavery. You know why? Because you were treated like cattle that might mean the same thing. I never looked up chattel. I don't even care what it means. All I know is it means something terrible. You know what I'm saying? So, in essence, you're doing what's been done to you. Say what you want to say. But when you cat when you capture them animals and put them in captivity, it's a different ball game. Now, if you got a whole lot of acres of land and you befriend the animal and you just let them go out there in the wild and let them in the house every now and then and, you know, give them flea stuff so you won't have it, cool, that's different. When you trap them in that house like that, like most of y'all do in your apartments, and then you take them out to walk, you have to take them out to nature to do what they do naturally, but everything else you don't do, you don't let them do naturally. They can't because if you let them do what they do naturally, especially dogs and cats, they tear up every damn thing in your house. Everything. They'll maul it. You know what I'm saying? So next time you get a pet, just think about that. O and B signing out. Peace. <laughs>